so we've just got out of the surf and we're going exploring to find some epic untouched beaches and some really special places that you can't get to unless you've got a four wheel drive. See in the distance that break right out, there's two breaks there, one's called guillotines and one's called gallows. Okay, yeah. And they say if um, if the guillotine doesn't chop your head off, <laughs> the gallows is gonna hang you up. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go check out our friends at Ashbrook. We're gonna uh, enjoy some of their fine wines. Ashbrook. Ew. How beautiful is this? How nice is Margaret River? Margaret River creates some of the most amazing wines, some of the best in the world, you could say, or well, I would say. You know, it's because the temperature's so perfect. It's tempered, you know, it doesn't get too hot, doesn't get too cold, you know, it's just right. It's a foodie heaven. I mean, how's this for a morning? All right, guys, so we're here at Margaret River, Ashbrook Estate. We've got the whole family behind us drinking some wines. Are you guys hungry? <laughs> We're going to do some awesome little brioche sandwiches, so it's going to be fresh local marintail. It's going to have a celery and mixed herb remoulade. We're going to pickle our own little zucchinis, and then we're going to sit back, drink some wine, and have an awesome feed. <laughs> so the first step is to get the marins on. So we've got a few people to feed, so we've got a few marins to cook. Just going to whack them straight into boiling water. They're going to take about three or four minutes. They're quite large. So once they come out of the water, you're going to go straight into cold water, so hot water to cold water, and that's going to make sure they don't overcook as they sit out while I do the rest of them. While these guys are cooking, we are actually going to make ourselves the remoulade. So to make the remoulade, it's like a really nice salad with like a fresh, zesty, herbaceous aioli through it. We're going to start with the salad. So we've got some sage here, some parsley, some whole oregano leaves in there and just keep it nice and fresh. Next step is shallots. Into there. And then we're going to start on our celery. So we're going to use all of the celery, but we're just going to use the leaves from the heart of it. So these are quite sweet and beautiful, where the outside ones are quite bitter. So you want the sweet to the centre ones. They're crunchy. You know, they've got a full flavoured, intense celery um, flavour. They're really nice. So we're going to pick that into our salad. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start slicing these up into battens. So once you've done your battens, just chuck them in there with your herbs, give them a good mix. Second step is the aioli. So it's going to be a whole egg aioli. Um, we're going to get two eggs, a little bit of garlic. So I'm just going to mince it up, slice it super fine with my knife. If you had a microplane or a grater, you know, you can do that as well. Or if you had a food processor on hand, just, um, you know, bang it through the food processor. It'll take no time at all. To that, we're going to add some Dijon mustard. So a generous tablespoon, some lemon juice, just roll it, salt, some pepper, and then we're going to start whisking this up, emulsifying it as you go. The trick is to start off with a base, so take your time, emulsify your oil early, so it's sort of a nice strong base, and then you can sort of begin to add it quicker later on. Might just go a little bit more salt and pepper. So this is... Basically, it's going to soften up that salad we just made. So we're going to add that together. We've made our celery remoulade, we've made our aioli, we've sort of chopped those herbs up and now we're going to do our pickled little cucumbers. So these guys are going to be really easy. We're just going to slice them up into little battens, throw them in a bowl. We're going to mix some apple cider vinegar and some sugar bring to temperature, dissolve the sugar, and then we're going to pour that warm pickling liquid on top, and then that's going to layer through our awesome sandwiches. So the next step is to separate and to clean our marin tails off. So just grab a tea towel and grab the head, grab the tail, and just sort of twist it. So a little bit of force one way, and then bring it back and twist it off, and it just sort of pops out like that. So that's the tail. Don't forget the claws have heaps of flavour and heaps of eat in them, so just twist the claws off. So you're going to cut them straight down the centre, knife, top hand, Nice and safe. And then down, straight through the center. Same thing on the other side. Straight through the center. Just get rid of the bloodline down here, it just comes out. If they cook properly, it should just roll out like that. Perfect. How good is that?
Cheers. Cheers. Chin, chin. Thank you. Ew.